Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today morning, I, I saw this tweet from Lawrence Murni, so who is quite popular in the TensorFlow world. So he actually shared this data set and then he said, you know what, this looks like an interesting use case for image classifier. And out of curiosity, I went to the data set and I saw that, you know, it's, it's basically mosquito on human skin and it has got two classes. One is with the landing, the other one is smashed. So what I thought is, you know what, I've done the first listen of um, first listen of fast AI um, and you would have seen the videos. Um, so I thought, why don't I take this um, as, I, I've already done it with a different data set, but today I wanted to see if I can take a totally different data set and whether I can work. And this is quite experimental and it's not um, the best model or best score that you would see. But I'm super happy to say that I managed to successfully finish a vision classifier using exactly what Jeremy taught in the first lesson, nothing more than that, just simply the first chapter and I used it and I managed to create a, a mosquito landing detection classifier using fast AI and this video is going to exactly take you through my journey of how I reached there. So the Kaggle notebook would be shared in the YouTube description, please check it out. But otherwise, you know, it's, it's, it's exactly what Jeremy thought and taught us in the first chapter. So the first step in the um, in in this one is that you need to install your um, fast AI. Let me zoom in. Can I take it? Yeah. The first um, first I'm just thanking Lawrence for sharing this data set and also the idea. Uh, first step is to install fast AI. And uh, if you are creating a new notebook, make sure that you have got GPU enabled and internet enabled in the settings. But the first thing is you need to make sure that you have got. Um, the latest version of fast AI installed and then um, import everything which is not ideal again like a lot of people don't like to do it um, but that's what we've been taught so from the first chapter so I've, I've just done exactly that from fast AI dot vision dot all import start because we are dealing with the vision problem computer vision problem we're trying to build an image classifier I'm just doing it then this is the URL where the data set is available as mentioned in the tweet this is the URL and also you can go here and then see this is the URL where the data set is available. When you go to the URL, you can see that there is a zip file and uh, very fortunately that you have got a helper function in fast AI library that can download something from a URL and if it is a compressed file, it can unzip it. So that's what exactly we are doing here. We are saying untar data. So we are downloading this first and then we are unzipping it and um, we are just printing the path. So this is the path where we have downloaded the zip file and unzipped it. So thanks to the helper file. And I'm just printing the path again, which is not required actually. So this is me just simply checking, you know, what is the train path? What is the test path? What is that happening? Okay, so this is not my path. So this was me trying to checking, this is not required. So now what I can do is what I try to do, which I could not um, complete is I could get use get files, another helper function and get files from a particular folder. So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to create my data set in such a way, which was start in the first lesson of fast AI course, where you've got a root folder and inside that root folder, you've got two folders. One is set of images belonging to one class. And the other one is set of images belonging to the second class. So what I'm actually trying to create is I'm trying to create a folder called images and I'm trying to take one particular species of mosquito landing in one folder within this and uh, the same species smashed images in the other folder. So I've got root folder, two subfolders inside it and uh, one is landing, one is smashed. For that, I initially tried to use get files, but you know, I could not, I could not, um, I could not figure out a way to combine two different folders. So what I took is a very simple Linux based approach. First, I'm creating a folder called images, the main root folder I'm creating. Then within the root folder, I'm creating another folder called smashed. And I'm copying the images from smashed, which uh, which is um, what Al Albo Pictus. So I'm taking the Albo Pictus mosquito species folder and I'm putting the content inside it using um, this this copy. So first I'm creating a subdirectory for smashed inside my images and I'm copying the content from where we downloaded and I'm putting it inside it. and I'm doing the same thing for landing. So inside my images folder, 
right now you would see that I've got two folders. So when I do ls of images, you could see that I've got landing and I've got smashed. So one is mosquito landing for albo pictus, the other one is mosquito landing, albo pictus mosquito smashed, like when somebody smashes it. Now um, I have got, I've given, I've assigned the string object path where I've got the root folder. This is very similar to what was taught in the first lesson. Now is the point where we are actually going to build a data block, which is a data loader in the PyTorch language. So this block is again very, just a copy pasted from the documentation, um, the notebook. So we've got the image block and category block. It's a block. Get image files is um, most more like a callback and a random splitter. Uh, I'm not sure. I assume this is a callback because we had a, file, a function and this is a callback. But yeah, I, I would like to stand corrected if it is wrong. Then random splitter for uh, internal cross validation. We are using a 0.2%, sorry, 20% validation data set. And parent label just comes from, um, I think it comes from the, I think it comes from the root folder name. And then we have got the um, basic transformation. Uh, how do you want to resize the image and what kind of transformation? And then where do you want to do all these things? This is the path and that is a path here. And this is your data block, data loader object now. Now, after this is successfully done, you can actually look at, to the, like, look at the data set and then you can say, you know what, I'm trying to display 20 images. Show batch, dls.show batch. And what is the number? I'm trying to display 20 images. And you can see Albo picked as landing, Albo picked as landing, Albo picked as smash, Albo picked as smash. And you can see the difference. Like for a human being, you can see that it has been landed here. It is landed here. Um, it is smashed here. It is smashed here. It is landing. It is landing. And just a point for you to note down. I've taken this from the training folder. So if you see the folder structure here, you have got the root inside that you have got the data splitting and inside that you have got train and test. So I'm, I'm training with training and then I'm going to go to test later on. So this, this is how the images input images look like. Now what I'm trying to do is exactly what Jeremy taught us, which is I'm using vision learner, taking this data using ResNet 18 pre-trained model and, um, and I'm just using metrics as error metric. And once I run this, right right now, should I run it and see? Let's, let me show. Once I run this, this is, you know, stored here, like the object is created and now it's basically fine tuning. So we are like the fine tuning. And um, here in this case, I'm doing three epoch, but you can see that my model is not very perfect. Like um, still my validation dot loss is like around 16% and uh, my training loss is um, around 8%. When I increase number of uh, iterations, sometimes it overfits. So I just stopped it here. This is, you know, always subject to um, improvement. Now the fine tuning part is finished. So we took the raw data set, we reformatted it or we, we managed to restructure it in a way that it is easier to feed into the data loader um, function, which is what we were taught in the first chapter of fast AI course. Now we have done downloaded the pre-trained model. We have fine-tuned the pre-trained model on our data set. Now at this point, we can show the result. There is a, this is um, something that I learned from the documentation. So show results will show you based on the internal validation that you did based on this 20% validation that you did. So show results shows you how the original label was and what was your prediction. And luckily in our case, most of the time we see um, original prediction and this one same. I'm not sure, I'm really curious to say if blood is an indicator for it to figure out something is smashed or not. But even when there are cases where blood was not there, you could you could see that, you know, it is detected that it is smashed. I would also love to do some kind of uh, image augmentation to rotate the image. You know what, I don't want the deep learning model to assume that when the mosquito is like sitting on top, it is landing, um, but if it is like inverted, which in this case is smashed. So these are cases that we have to handle it. And I, I'm sure like when we progress in this course, we'll get to know more about it. But, but for now, I'm just going ahead with this. 
then I want to like so far it looks good but I still want to predict on individual images and see how it works. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get into the test folder trying to get some smashed images and trying to get some landing images for Albo Pictus. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm creating three test images. The first test image is from smashed. The second is landing and the third is smashed and you know you can you can create as many as you want like here you can. So I've got three test images. So first I'm trying the first test image. First test image is the image. Oh, I converted this. I converted this into markdown. That's my bad. First test image. Yeah. So first test image, it says it is like actually it is smashed, we know, but the model has never seen the image. And uh, we are seeing learn that predict and you know, PL image create, get the image from the URL and create it. And then it returns three things, the class and the probability. So if you see, open the image and see, you can clearly see blood and it has been smashed. So when you use this, it's landed. So it says this is the label is, the class is Albo picked smashed. And it is predicting with the probability around 3% that it is smashed, which is not a great confidence, but it, it, it does its job. Now, instead of test image one, if I use test image two, which is a landing image, then we can see, we can see that uh, this is not even the straight image, like it's not, it's not a top view, but it's tilted, which is the augmentation part that I said. Now, when you run it, oh, it say, still says it is, see, be, I think because it is um, like rotated, I think it is assuming that it to be, a landing image uh, it to be a smashed image while it is a landing image so this is this is wrong so if you see landing 840 the second image it is not doing a job like you can you can see it is landed this one smashed so this is this is wrong so now I'm going to pick another landing image just to see if it works fine landing Let's let's pick one of the images, maybe triple nine, triple nine. Okay, triple nine says it is landing and it still says it is smashed. This is not very good, but you know, that's, that's fine. 480, let me take one more, 480. I'm going to take test image two because test image two is this, this test image two, test image two, and it's landed. Let's it say smashed again. Let me pick one at least where it will say landing. Um, hundred, hundred. And we still get the same thing. It says smashed. So, this is the class that it is assuming it to be uh, and in every cases it has said landing uh, smashed but I had tried few cases in the past where I got a um, different result but this is what I got now so that's what it is so this, this is what it predicts finally and we have the prediction and then we can display it and uh, this is like, like I said this is not a perfect solution the accuracy is not great and you can see that you know there are there are back and forth um, iterations that I have to do. So in certain cases, it is it is really good. In certain cases, it's not good. Um, but again, the 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 opportunity here is um, that we could actually see. Oh, you know why it happened? Because I ran this. I didn't fine tune this. I am really sorry to say that I ran this. But I didn't fine tune it. Okay, so let's let's try one more time. Um, now I'm fine tuning because last time, if you see, this is cell number eighty five. Just I I just ran it, but um, like I ran this like where we download the model. But instead of fine tuning, I was actually using the actual ResNet pre-trained model. I didn't fine tune it on the mosquitoes very well. I think um, that was one of the reason. That could be another reason. I suspect. Let's see. Let's see what is going to happen after we do this. So I'm trying to fine tune it now, like live um, previously I had done it. And uh, using that, we are going to now check again um, with, with, with the images that we had selected. Okay, fine tuning is 
almost completed so i'm going to show the result and see okay the result shows like this that's healthy uh, so let's do the same thing again so i'm going to start with the second image maybe this time second image and it is landing now um, yeah so it's my apologies like what i did is i did not find unit just simply using the rest name. okay so it says this is landed now let me use test image one which is smashed we know and test image one and you can see it says smashed but the probability is not great but it is smashed what I, what I actually not very sure is what exactly this probability denotes that's a different topic altogether I look into the documentation so then test image 3 test image 3 and you can see it says smashed now what also I'm going to try to do is I'm going to pick one more landing image which in this case is 789 and you can say very um 789 okay test image 2 test image 2 test image 2 i didn't change the label and for you can see that it says it's landing and um, i i'm not sure if the probability actually says um what is this the probability of this class or the probability actually you know between 0 to 1 and then anything greater than 0.5 indicates this class so i'm not i'm not really sure about it so let me take one more landing image 780 uh, maybe 269 and uh, try it again and you can say you can see that it says clearly landing and it works fine one last i'm going to try one smashed new smashed image so i'm going to try maybe 352 352 is my test image 3 let me run it 352 test image 3 smashed so so far um i'm sorry i'm sorry for the confusion that i did because i did not find you in it that was that's why you got not good a, a result um i'm not going to edit it out um I, I want you to see me making dumb mistakes that's a good thing uh, so ultimately we successfully managed to create a mosquito landing detection with fast ai just with the first chapter of fast ai course imagine what we could do if we complete the course once again, thanks to Jeremy Howard for putting together this course out. I'm attending it for free. And also thanks to Lawrence Morney for um, sharing this idea. And um, I would I would love to see if other fast AI, like what other fast AI students are doing it and um, how is it going. Okay, uh, this Kaggle notebook, uh, I'll make it public and then I'll share it in the, I'll share it in the YouTube description. Definitely check it out. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, happy coding. Happy fast day. Peace.